This video shows how to use the Visual Trader Studio to build a custom expert advisor. You select New, select Custom System and say OK. And this just builds a simple drawing with a Start node, a Note node, and an End node. And we'll do a Save As to give the system a nice name like uh, My First Expert Advisor. And select OK. And now we're ready to do something with our drawing. We could use the toolbox over here on the left. <coughs> which uh, shows all the new items and what we'll do here is we'll just put a comment into this note item that's something we could refer to and we'll talk about the system and just put some notes in there and say uh, we're going to open a sell trade when the RSI is greater than 50 uh, again this is just an example for an expert advisor and when you float over it shows your note so you kind of know what you meant to do with this expert advisor so we'll come over to the toolbox and we could drag over a new variable element and this element will be used to test against the RSI we give the variable a type by selecting one of the radio buttons and a scope which means uh, where can the variable be accessible from and we'll enter a default value here of 50 and select OK and then save it and give it a descriptive name so we'll know what it means when we go back to it like max RSI and we'll change it to an extern and that means that you'll be able to set this variable when you configure uh, the EA actually attaching it to the chart so now we'll add uh, a function and we'll go down into the indicators section of the toolbox and we'll just drag over the RSI indicator when we click the plus button this allows us to configure all the parameters of the RSI like uh, the symbol that it's used against and we could pick a specific symbol or just whatever chart it's attached to same with the time frame we could pick uh, a specific period to get the indicator value or just the one that it's attached to and there's help here to give you a description of uh, what each of these indicators do and there's the period and the price the applied price to use and that looks good so we'll press save on there and now we have our RSI variable and the links are easy to drag around if you want to delete a link you just select it and push the delete key and it goes away that's collect connect links you just drag them so now we need to add a logic element and uh, the logic element will make the decision as to uh, what to do in terms of the logical flow of the expert advisor so we'll drag the RSI value right into the logic element and we'll attach the true to one of the ends and you could also add new elements just by right clicking and we added another end and we'll run that off of the false uh, section of the logical element and we could build it real quick just by pushing build and that actually generates an expert advisor but of course we still need to go back and put uh, the actual condition into the logic so we're going to select our variable uh, the first one would be the, var the actual value of the RSI and we'll say when that value is uh, greater than our input value, if you remember that was called max RSI, we'll go down there and grab that. It's just as simple as double clicking it. And when that happens, we'll return true. And that's our logical statement and the logical the logic of the program will follow that true path when that occurs. So what do we want to do when it's true? well we want to open a trade so we'll go back down to our functions in the toolbox and we'll drag out the order send function which is the MetaTrader function for opening up an order and again you click on it to configure and it opens up uh, all of the parameters that you would need to define and we're going to open a sell order and uh, there are a lot of other things we could change the stop loss uh, the magic number and uh, maybe we'll just change the color of the arrow that it makes on the on the chart and we'll make that yellow we hit save and now we actually have our pretty much a, an expert advisor now 
that's going to open a sell trade when the RSI goes above 50. And again, we just push the build button. This generates the MQL and then uh, converts the MQL into an expert advisor. And you could view the MQL just by pushing Meta Editor, and then it opens up the Meta Editor, uh, which is a MetaTrader tool, in one of the VTS tabs. So you can go back and forth and you could look at this code that gets generated when you drag elements from the toolbox onto the drawing board. And uh, this is the code basically right here. And we set all the values and that's where we create the indicator value and here's the logic where we test the indicator value and then we set all the values for the order send function and actually call the order send function so if you want to see the MetaTrader platform your MetaTrader platform you just click on this button and this is going to open up your MetaTrader platform inside one of ETS's tabs and your expert advisor my first expert advisor is right there ready to be attached to a chart and here are the input variables that you could still define for your expert advisor you select OK and it's attached and it's running on the chart and that is how you use the custom system to build an expert advisor for Visual Trader Studio